Welcome to our quick rundown of the 1972 film, Conquest of the Planet of the Apes. Get ready for some shocking, funny, and sad facts about this movie, so stick around. In this movie, we see a world where apes have become slaves to humans. But one ape, Caesar, rises up against this injustice and leads his fellow apes in a rebellion for freedom. It's a tale of struggle, courage, and the fight for equality. Now, let's dive into some interesting tidbits about the film. Did you know that the apes in the movie were actually played by actors in ape costumes? It's true, and the set design, depicting a futuristic city, was quite ahead of its time. Speaking of which, have you ever been inspired or impacted by this movie in your own life? Share your story with us in the comments below. We'd love to hear about it. As for favorite roles, which character stood out to you the most? Let us know. And what about your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this film? We're all ears, so drop us a comment. So, there you have it, a brief overview of Conquest of the Planet of the Apes. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to share your thoughts and memories with us in the comments. Until next time, take care. In 1972, a film called Conquest of the Planet of the Apes hit the big screen. It was a big deal back then. Picture this a world where apes, not humans, rule the earth. Sounds intriguing, right? The movie was part of a series about a future where apes and humans switch places. But this one was special. It showed the start of the ape revolution. People were captivated by its story and characters. Conquest of the Planet of the Apes made waves in its era. It wasn't just another movie. It was a tale that made people think about power, freedom, and society. Plus, it had some pretty cool action scenes. Back then, movies like this weren't just for entertainment. They made people ponder what could happen if things were different. And this movie did just that. So, next time you watch Conquest of the Planet of the Apes, remember its significance. It's not just a film. It's a glimpse into a different world, one where apes reign supreme. In the world of 1970s sci-fi TV, some familiar faces made lasting impressions. One actor starred in both Planet of the Apes and The Fantastic Journey. Another, alongside a select group, played the same character in multiple Planet of the Apes movies. And there's another actor known for his role in Knott's Landing who decided to step away from the show to focus on other projects. These actors, each with their own contributions, added depth and variety to their projects. In one scene, a few rifles carried by the apes lack ammunition magazines, making it impossible to fire, despite being shown otherwise. Ricardo Montalban, known for his role as Khan Noonien Singh in Star Trek, reprised his role in both the television series and Star Trek II The Wrath of Khan. The film score was primarily by Tom Scott, with the exception of the final piece taken from Planet of the Apes. These details add depth to the production of the film. Ricardo Montalban and Madeline Rue appear together in episodes of Bonanza, Star Trek, and Fantasy Island. They portrayed a married couple in Bonanza and Star Trek. Natalie Trundy is the only actor, besides Roddy McDowell, to star in four out of the five original Planet of the Apes films. She played various roles, including a human mutant, a human doctor, and Caesar's chimpanzee wife. Unlike McDowell, she portrayed both human and simian characters. Conquest of the Planet of the Apes marks the first film in the series without characters from Pierre Boulle's work or from the original 1968 film. In the world of entertainment, some actors leave a lasting impression with their diverse talents and memorable roles. One such actor made his mark in a well-known film series involving apes. He played significant characters across several movies, showcasing his acting skills and leaving a notable impact on the franchise. From portraying a chimpanzee archaeologist to taking on the role of a leader, his performances captivated audiences and solidified his place in cinematic history. Throughout his career, this actor's involvement in the film series demonstrated his range and ability to bring depth to various characters. Despite missing one installment due to other commitments, he returned to reprise his roles with enthusiasm and dedication. His contributions added depth and complexity to the storyline, enhancing the overall appeal of the movies. In summary, this actor's versatile performances and dedication to his craft made him a standout figure in the iconic ape-themed film series. 
His impact on the franchise is undeniable, and his characters continue to resonate with audiences worldwide. In this movie, the focus shifts predominantly towards chimpanzees and gorillas, giving only occasional glimpses of orangutans. Natalie Trundy, whose husband was Marilyn Monroe's press agent, Arthur P. Jacobs, plays a significant role. Ricardo Montalban's prior experience in a television series episode called Samurai is notable. He faced discomfort due to eye makeup, restricting his ability to blink on camera. This created a somewhat jarring effect during continuous shots, as most people blink when adjusting their eyes, but Montalban did not, contributing to a unique aspect of his performance. The movie script originally featured a scene where a fugitive ape is shot by the police, revealing the grim reality of the ape's living conditions with open wounds and scars. This scene was deemed too gruesome and was cut from the final version. Roddy McDowell, known for his role as Caesar, faced a clerical error from 20th Century Fox, which mistakenly listed him as a leading player instead of a supporting one for his role in Cleopatra. This error cost him a potential Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actor. Despite an open letter of apology from the studio, the error couldn't be rectified due to timing constraints. Interestingly, McDowell had previously portrayed Octavian in Cleopatra. This connection adds depth to his portrayal of Caesar in the movie. Roddy McDowell's talent as an actor shines through despite the challenges he faced in the industry. His portrayal of Caesar in Conquest of the Planet of the Apes showcases his versatility and skill as an actor. In a movie from 1972, an actor known for playing many roles made his final big appearance. After this film, he stopped acting, but returned once more in a play in 1997. In that play, he played a character called Ebenezer Scrooge. He shared the stage with another actor named Hal Linden. In the movie, the different groups of ape characters had different colors for their clothes. The chimpanzees had the same colors as before, but the gorillas changed from purple to red, and the orangutans changed from a dull orange to a bright yellow. This made the movie look different from the ones before it. The actor was also in three different Batman shows. He played a character called the Bookworm in a show from 1966. Later, he played a character called the Mad Hatter in two more shows. The changes in the ape character's clothes and the different roles the actor played show how interesting the movie was. It had many different parts to it, making it a unique chapter in movie history. Ricardo Montalban really loved playing Khan Noonien Singh in Star Trek II The Wrath of Khan. He was praised by a critic for his performance in the movie. Roddy McDowell, another actor from the film, went to a movie premiere with Mia Kirshner. Gordon Jump, who was also in the movie, became famous for acting in commercials for Maytag as a lonely repairman. These actors brought different skills and experiences to conquest of the Planet of the Apes, showing how versatile they were in the world of movies. In a story about familial bonds and societal upheaval, a versatile actor took on dynamic roles, portraying both a supportive father figure and a grandfather. His performances showcased his ability to capture the essence of family connections in different narratives. Within a world reshaped by a devastating plague, apes found themselves enslaved amidst chaos and societal struggles. The narrative unfolds against this backdrop, exploring themes of oppression, rebellion, and the fight for freedom. Standing tall at 5'11", the actor left a lasting impression with his performances, adding depth to the film's storyline. His portrayal navigated the complexities of a society dominated by apes, reflecting the recognition and appreciation for his contribution to cinema. While online information may have altered over time, the enduring resonance of the film's legacy remains. It continues to captivate audiences, inviting them on a journey of exploration and introspection. Reflecting on the actor's contribution, one marvels at the power of storytelling to illuminate the complexities of the human experience. His nuanced performance breathed life into a character emblematic of resilience and defiance, leaving a lasting impression on the cinematic landscape. In conclusion, the portrayal of societal dynamics and the struggle for liberation within the context of the film remains a poignant reflection of the human experience. Through captivating performances and intricate storytelling, it invites audiences to ponder their place in the world.